We do 3,000 cardiac CTs a year. Uh, coronary disease is the big killer in the UK and especially in the Midlands. There are patients who have heart disease and we can't tell whether that heart disease is causing limitation to flow or whether it's just in the background. The beauty of this new technique is it sorts out who really has important heart disease and who only needs tablets. For about one in eight patients, we're avoiding the need for another test. We're avoiding the need for an invasive angiogram. It allows us to concentrate on the patients that really need the catheter laboratory. And we get the results back in two or three hours. It saves money, it saves patient time, and it saves clinician time. I can show them the pictures. The pictures are in color. They can see the narrowing. Everything's stripped away. They can just see their fuel pipes and they can see where it's narrowed with the cholesterol. What we do now is, is see the patient, do the imaging. Um, I will then look at that with a cardiologist and we'll come to a definitive report there and then. Um, we'll then talk to the patient and we'll tell them exactly what we found and what the further tests are. From a patient point of view, that mean that it means that they don't have to come back for another review. Heart flow helps us to decide which patients have a significant narrowing of the coronary arteries and which ones don't. It increases the, the reliability of the result of the non-invasive coronary angiogram. Without the West Midlands Academic Health Sciences Network, this would not have happened. Uh, the truth is they've been incredibly helpful in helping us push this technology forward.